Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a topic that I heard in another YouTuber's video. Uh, I'm gonna post her information and her video in the description box and I'll show you the YouTuber who I'm talking about in this video that's up here. But her name is Jess Style and she had an interesting subject that she brought up in her video that has prompted this video. And it's gonna be on our luxury handbags really considered collection, uh, collection items or pieces and are they really investment pieces. Now I know that this topic has been on YouTube and other YouTubers have talked about this, but I kind of want to give you my version or my thoughts on collecting handbags or luxury items, collectibles, collection items, and kind of where, you know, I, I feel like this kind of fits when it comes to my own self and my collection. So if you're interested in this video, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so in her video, she was basically going over her own purse journey and she had mentioned how she saw a young lady who had come into her place of employment and how she had this innocence and nostalgia over a Louis Vuitton handbag, but in her viewpoint or in her mindset, when she looked at the same handbag, she was kind of like, it's a regular Louis Vuitton basic handbag and how she had to stop and think and remember that this young lady didn't have any experience with luxury handbags and how she was so mesmerized at just the fact of holding a Louis Vuitton bag and how she felt like she had gotten away from the enjoyment and the innocence of you know, when you first get a luxury handbag and how we all feel. And I definitely understand where she's coming from in that video. I think when I was excited about buying a Louis Vuitton bag or even any luxury bag, you have this innocence about like, wow, like one day I'm gonna be able to own one of those. You know, I can't wait to touch it, to smell it, to see it, to brag about it, to wear it. Just all the things that come with not only buying luxury, but just getting something new, especially for me, in my opinion, this applies to new items, period. So it doesn't have to be a luxury handbag. It could be shoes, it could be a jacket, it could be a car, <laughs> you know, I don't know, whatever it is you feel that you have some set excitement for and you really want to get this item or you've been working so hard to get this item, a first house, a first car, dream job, you know, whatever applies, it doesn't have to be a luxury bag. But in the video, one of the things that she talked about was she said that she she didn't, I guess, like the idea of referring to her handbags as collections. And if you've watched a lot of these uh, purse videos or luxury videos or any kind of really videos where someone has a lot of them in their collection, you know, just kind of they've been collecting a lot of them. We do tend to start calling these items collections. You know, I have a bunch of Louis Vuitton bags that when I look at them, I, I now say I have a collection because I have amassed so many. But I think that these items don't just fall into luxury items. There are some people who have over 40 Chanel bags, over 40 Louis Vuitton bags, over 40 YSL bags, whatever it is they're collecting. When you look at cars, there are people who have exotic cars, who collect art, who collect figurines. It doesn't necessarily have to be a luxury item. I think when it comes to collecting an item, when someone says that I have a collection of these items, they have put a value on these items and it tends to be that they have to put more care into, they put more interest into, it's something that is a hobby of theirs and so it gives them a certain enjoyment that something every day that they don't collect or don't look at as a beautiful piece of collector's item. It kind of changes what that item is for the person. And so luxury bags, when you, I kind of disagree with her viewpoint in that I do think luxury bags are a collection. 
someone looks at these pieces and they are, you know, art to someone and someone who just has an abundance of money. They're just buying them because they can afford. They might not necessarily see them as a collection, as art. It changes per the person. So I wanted to show you all some of my pieces that I do consider collector's pieces. Other people have these same pieces in their collections. They use them. She did mention that for her, when she says collection, there are not items that she's just putting on a shelf and that she doesn't use. She says she uses her handbags and if she doesn't use them, she sells them. Well, I'm a little bit of the opposite, probably a lot of bit of the opposite. Here's one of my items. This is the Nice Mini. You know, I've talked about this item. I bought this item before I purchased my vanity. And let me close this up. <laughs> Okay, so here's my Vanity PM and here's my Nice Mini. Now, I originally, I bought this because I had seen the videos on YouTube about people saying, oh, just carry this as a purse, convert this, put hooks on here, convert this. And when I got it, you guys, I was like, this does not work for me as a purse. It is way too boxy. And even this still has a boxy shape. The I think Louis Vuitton did a little bit better with making this a purse. You can see how it's smaller. So I think it fits in my hand a little bit more comfortable. And then the edges curve a lot better. And you can actually hold this as a handle. And this to me is not practical as a handle. It doesn't come up much. And I like to hold my bags like a top handle. So this right here was just impractical as a handbag. And I opted to keep it versus sell it because like right after I bought it, the price went up like, uh, like maybe two days later. And so it still has that same functionality of a vanity bag, opens the same way. I've never used it. I bought an insert and I just kind of, once I got this bag, I've kind of just chalked this up as a collector's piece. Uh, I paid $7.25 for this and right now the price is like $1,000, I think $10. Uh, so this is a piece that I would probably never sell. I actually would never sell it. And my daughter would inherit this piece. Maybe she would use it as a little vanity. You know, she can carry it. She can put it on her dresser case, whatever the case may be. For me, I just would never actually use this piece. So this has become a, a, a collector's item for me. I, I actually wouldn't even put this on my shelf because I don't want this Vaquetta changing color at all. So I keep her in her dust bag at all times because I don't, I want this to stay in this condition because if I decide to sell this piece, I want it to be pristine. And who knows, right now, I just enjoy just having it. Who knows what I may do down the line, if my daughter will get this or not. But I keep this just like this, okay? And I'll show another example of a collector's piece. And it's not really so much a collector's piece. I actually did buy this to use for myself. But with the pandemic, last year we weren't really going anywhere and so i never got a chance to use it and then just time got away not really going any places the pandemic halting being able to travel or go out or go to places i just kind of never used it and then i bought my speedy 20 and i prefer that size over this one and with this strap not coming off you know this kind of prevented me from even having a desire to ever use this so i said great I'll just keep this for my daughter. And so this has for me become a collector's piece. My daughter just turned four. And so she will not be using these pieces until she's old enough to use them. So right now they are collector's piece. Just sitting here wherever I have them until she turns of age to use them. So, And I have a few pieces like this in my collection that I've opted not to sell and just pass them down to her because as she gets older, I definitely don't want her grabbing to use my bags. I want to be able to gift them for her whenever she gets older. I see a lot of people right now, their daughters are becoming of age and they are trying to collect these little mini handbags and different things like that for their kids. I'm not doing that 15 years from now, whatever the case may be, to try to track down a piece where I can buy it now and just hold on to it and gift to her. 
But that, again, let me get back to the premise of this video is, are these items collector's items? For some people, yes, they are. She did mention how, you know, we don't refer to our clothes as collections or our shoes. But there are some people who do refer to their clothes as collection for people who buy, um, high, uh, what is it called, high-end high clothes, uh, luxury clothes. They do consider their clothing collections because they'll have so many from a certain brand. Shoes, somebody will say shoes collection, cars, they'll say car collection. Even people who buy, you know, expensive wigs, they do say, you know, my hair collection, my wig collection, whatever the case may be. But when it comes to what you collect, you can say collection. It, it really comes down to what you think about the item. In terms of investment, that's a touchy subject because, you know, when you look at this, I bought this last year before the price went up in October and now this thing has had two price increases. The price of this is 24 something, 24.40 on Louis Vuitton website. Because I have only used this like 3 times, you know, the condition is really good, so I could turn around and sell this and pretty much get my money back out the item. I did not buy this as an investment piece as a trying to collect it and then turn around and sell it. But there are sellers who buy these pieces to resell because they know the value in these Louis Vuitton items and they know that there are people out there who want to get their hands on these items and they'll pay premium to buy these items just to have. Depending on kind of where you are, if you're buying just to resell, keep the item and the price goes up, then maybe these could be, you know, investment pieces for you. There are YouTubers who do buy purses and handbags just to do YouTube videos. If I sell a bag, it's really because I tried to really make it work within my lifestyle for about five or six years. And if it's just something that I just really ultimately won't use or I have duplicates of, which is really why I would sell an item, is because I've bought duplicates and I've kind of picked my favorite out of the duplicates. So very seldom will I just buy handbags just to sell because I'm trying to make a profit. So, which, don't get me wrong, it's always nice when you do, so I just want to point that out. But what is your thoughts on our handbags collections? Are they, you know, investment pieces? Are they really a collection? Should we call them collections? Things like that. I'd be really interested to hear what you all think about this very topic. It's not a tag video, but I would sure love to tag some people in this. I want to tag Kevin. I'm going to put their channels in my YouTube description. I want to tag Flyboo86. I really want to hear her thoughts. Uh, Shanny Cole. LV Lux girl. I want to hear what you all have to say about this. Patricia, I want to know what you all feel about this and chime in on this topic. All right, you guys, so that is this video. If you have any questions about this topic, definitely comment down below what you think about this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Alrighty, bye.